you, got you, yeah. got you. So, so you you selling it? What did you just want to get out, or was there was that whole the, the, thing? the company had become very large at that point? Okay, and you know we, the three partners decided that uh, you know we needed to, uh, some help to run the place. Okay, and we sold to a private equity company, and the um, the lead counsel that was brought into our company with them was a pedophile <laughs> okay and right before we get into there um that, so okay so hold on so as a founder and we just talked about this in here a couple of seconds ago as a founder mm. it's your baby you made it you you did it for you know for people that come in that were kind of uncomfortable you built this huge thing everybody knows what planet thickness is how does it make you feel now that you're not there as as the founder ceo when you wake up in the morning you have to think about this type of situation it's it's absolutely disgusting to me it was my whole life's work it was the only thing that i ever really got life right in my life hmm. and to see where it's at today it's 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 complete destruction it, it just leaves me shaking my head and they're quadrupling down as you said on stupid fucking decisions <laughs> yeah oh yeah what do you think about this because you're you represent yeah. uh mike it's his legacy Right. So imagine you you spent your entire life building up uh, a great brand, uh, an incredible product for everyone to use. And now it, they've bastardized it, you know, and uh, it's sad. I think Michael's described it before as uh, it's like seeing a child, you know, with failing health. It's just very, very sad. Yeah. Uh, so, Mike, just go. But do you have any current financial interests or investments with Planet Fitness? You're completely out. I own a couple of buildings that re they rent from me. That's it. I have it's no. Your, it's your, it's your problem. Actually, three months after we sold to the private equity company, mm -hmm. I figured out this kid was this guy was a sex abuser. Okay. One of our franchisees brought a, um, a, a an investigation to me that okay. proved that this guy was a sex offender, pedophile, whatever, um, and I brought that to the private equity firm and. They showed me the door. Holy shit. So I'm going to say something here? Yeah, it goes deeper than that, too. Uh, and Michael will tell you, it, he was a rising star in the Democratic Party in North Carolina. This is Richard Moore. This yeah. is Richard, Richard Moore, Moore, the general okay. counsel. And exactly. so he's very bright guy, very, you know, good looking guy, mm -hmm. uh, can speak uh, eloquently, uh, good head on his shoulders. But he was convicted. By the way, he married a beauty queen okay. uh, from his town. Everything seemed to be going perfect, and uh, he gets arrested, and it turns out he was 24 years old, having, uh, he was a teacher also, he was having sex with 16-year-old boys that were living with him and were former students. What the hell? Where are the parents at? Yeah. That's a, oh my God. Yeah, so, so it, was, it was huge news, and somehow, I don't, I don't know exactly how, but somehow he ends up becoming a licensed attorney up in Massachusetts. At, this is after being convicted? Oh, yes. yeah. Holy shit. So, I mean, that, that's, I, I, don't, I don't think you can, can you even be, a, can you get your bar, Connor? Can you become a lawyer if you're, if you're. Um, don't, don't ask me. I'm no legal expert, but I'd like to assume no. <laughs> I mean. I, I, I would hope. One would but, hope. Well, let me, let me put it this way. He gave up his, he had to give up his teaching certificate and resign from the General Assembly in North Carolina. But then he went to law school and applied to the bar up there, and he had a very powerful law firm apply on his behalf. And we have we we've looked at all the letters. Mm -hmm. They wrote a letter and said, "Hey, we fully investigated what happened in North Carolina," and they said it's uh, it, it's basically he's just gay and it's a backward state, <sighs> and he's ahead of his times and he's being he's the victim. Oh, of course, and there that's were how they roll when it comes to the LGBTQ. Right, there were consenting adults. He's twenty four and they're sixteen. That's the legal age of consent mm -hmm. in in North Carolina, mm -hmm. but that is those are not consenting adults. You know? Yeah, no, I, I agree. And by the way, because I do want to get into the the Richard Moore situation, I just want to show a couple of photos. Uh, Kelly's gonna bring them up. Uh, like we were talking about this. So this this right here is the girl, the Patricia Silva. This is the guy. That is a grown man right there in the sh in. There's women in there, and by the way, is there an age limit for for children that could come into your into the Planet Fitness? Yeah, Michael? thirteen. Thirteen. So there could be potentially thirteen year olds in there. God forbid. And I know you you told, you spoke about this on an interview, Michael and Anir. You have you have children? Oh yeah. If I guys, I'm telling you right now, if I found out that my thirteen year old is in there and that 
scumbag is in there playing this freaking I'm a woman game, you guys will never see me again because I will be in prison for the rest of my life. I'm not, I won't play this game. So she made this video. She exposed him. They ban her for life, <laughs> for life. And now this guy gets an escort inside the gym. Can you, like, it's as if we're living in a, in a fake world. By the way, that's exactly what happened in, in essence to Michael when he brought this up. So that's, oh. th that was the deal, Mike. I was showing the door. So, okay, wait. Okay, please hold that thought. So uh, I want to show one more and, and know what you guys feel about. So Kelly, what's this next photo? Do you have an, okay, so this, this photo on the bottom is a guy, uh, his sexual fetish, he's masturbating. Yeah, Kelly, thank you, my love. This guy is masturbating inside the Planet Fitness locker room and recording it. I, I, I don't think these, these guys know what he's doing. Go to the next one, Kelly. And this is the next, the next photo. Look at this one. This is a guy acting out with sexual fetishes and peeking under bathroom stalls. I had to, uh, I had to color out the dildo that he has on the right, but he's exposing him. Like, dude, this is unbelievable. Like, and then there's one more. I want to show you guys a video. Mike, you told me about this one. This is of the fetish. Yeah. This is the fetish one that we're going to show you guys right now. This is uh, a oh by the way, by the way, this is a porn star. A porn, a porn actor masturbating inside Planet Fitness. I guess this is just the new norm. And then this next one is going to be a girl and a guy doing fetish. What is this one, Mike? Can you explain to people what this is? I, I honestly, I, the only thing I can say is it's like the opening scene in Billions. I don't know I, if you've seen that. Yeah. Kelly, can you play it? The, the, you play the guy, the guy uh, it, the, she spits in his mouth at the end she of spits the video. And mind you, this is an act. This is an after this is, hours. This no, is this happening. is while they're open, working out on this the gym is, floor. I don't know if it's real, but. No, no. I, I mean, sure dude, looks look at the, it. the equipment is purple. Oh, that's planet equipment. I I'll mean, tell you that. <laughs> I mean, unless it's. Yeah. Well, yeah. Can you play it really fast? Hey, bitch. Dude, what the hell is going on? Yeah, you can hear the people working out in the back. Mm -hmm. Dude, what kind of freak show shit is this? I'm out. Oh, of course, there's a Hello Kitty bag. Oh, of course. I mean, listen, she's she looks attractive as shit. That guy is a freaking loser, but the gym is active. That's obviously a Planet Fitness. Yes, she has an amazing ass, but still, like, this is... This should not be allowed. Like, I'm shocked. This management, somebody has to complain. And somebody, yeah, I'm good, Kel. And then she spits in his mouth after. We don't have to yeah. see that. Now, bear in mind, like, I had a Planet Fitness membership during, like, late stage pandemic lockdown <clears> stuff. <throat> yeah. They were making you wipe down everything, and people were coming in with masks. And yeah. We got people spitting in each other's mouths, but you can't leave sweat stains on the equipment. <laughs> yeah. What, so, what's the, what's up with the priorities of this gym That's right so now? freaking funny.